Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Conway Ford in Conway, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a really awesome SUV. This is a 2015 Ford Expedition Platinum EL. And so the ELs gives you a little bit extra uh, length there in the back and uh, for some more cargo capacity in addition to the seven passenger seating. And what's amazing about this full size SUV with a you know full frame SUV it has the the frame as strong as a, a as a truck that it has a a highway fuel economy rating at 22 miles per gallon reason why is because it has a 3.5 liter EcoBoost turbocharged engine which is very adequate as far as the power of this vehicle uh, it does have the towing package and all that stuff. So if you're traveling across the country with your family and you want a, a large, comfortable SUV that can pull up, you know, pull a trailer and all that stuff, this is a very good option. Uh, so I think you would be impressed with the the ride quality and the power and the overall, um, you know, test drive experience with this vehicle. So I definitely recommend test driving one. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now with the Platinum, you get, you're rolling on. 22 inch aluminum wheels with some Pirelli's tires, Pirelli tires, and um, very impressive looking. And it fits the size of the vehicle. It's not too, the, the, the wheels are not too small for the size of the vehicle. And of course, 22 inch wheels will give you a very good ride, especially out on, a, on an open highway, which I believe this vehicle will excel at. All right, so let's check out the front here. It does have the projector tube headlights with uh, halogens powering those. You also have the LED running lights down here. We've got the chrome tow hooks in the front. You also have parking sensors in the front. Those little round circles there. Those are the parking sensors for this vehicle. And they will alert you if you get close to something while you're you're not, you know, you're um, backing up or going forward. Let's get a profile shot of this. You can see it does have a consider amount, considerable amount of space, which I'll show you. All right, so here's what the key looks like. It does this a very sleek design. Um, it fits in your pocket easy. It doesn't have, it's just a fob. There's no other, anything other than this. And um, so basically, it does have the ability to open up the tailgate, lock and unlock, but also has a remote start, which I'm not gonna do right now because the vehicle is kind of low on gas. And uh, it's, it's not gonna work with when this doesn't have much gas in it. But, um, but you are able to remote start the vehicle um, at, you know when you're walking towards the vehicle or from your house it does have a very long range so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it push an unlock button here and we will check out the passenger side first now you'll probably notice now it has a step and that step is a powered side step so let me just show you that it will retract and when you open the door, it will lower. So that way you can enter the vehicle and it kind of gets out of the way to um, while you're driving because that way it makes the vehicle more aerodynamic. That's one of the features there. And also it just kind of gets out of the way from sticking out. So here's the inside of the driver's, the, the pass, passenger door on the front, shotgun, shotgun side also known as. And you've got some storage space there on the door, as, as well as a bottle holder, cup holder there. And, uh, and then you've got some um, stitched, soft to the touch stuff going on over here. Wood grain. Does have a premium Sony sound system. You got a handle to help you get in this vehicle. Power seats, as well as lumbar support. Very, very comfortable seats in the Platinum. Expedition pretty much all the expeditions have very comfortable seats because that's kind of the name of the game on travel vehicles like this So let's open this up tiny 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 
glove compartment compared to the rest of the vehicle. But hey, you got one. <laughs> but uh, you have some storage space in the door and some other places to make up for that. But I was kind of surprised. All right, so let's move on from there. Here's the inside of the back door, very similar to the front. And you do have the captain's chairs here. And um, they are heated. Now the front are heated and cooled. The, the rear, uh, these seats here, the second row, are just heated. They do have the leather perforations. Very comfortable seats. Um, and like I mentioned before, but these, the type of leather is kind of smooth feeling so you can slide around in the seat. It doesn't grab at your skin or your clothes, which I really uh, think is good. You got a storage pocket here. So, looking here, you can see uh, that there's some the ability to adjust your climate control for the rear passengers, and you also have the ability to um, you know adjust the music and different things like that. And um, you also have a power supply, 12 volt. I'll show you that. There's the 12 volt. You also have a 110 volt Edison plug, 150 watt. So you can plug in your laptop or your cell phone or whatever, and um, you know and charge it. It is 150 watts, so uh, it's not going to power like a hair dryer or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. All right. So with the captain's chairs, um, you can you know kind of get them out of the way. Now, and of course, small people can walk through there and walk between the seats to get to the third row. But uh, but there is the ability to get the seat out of the way quickly. So you push that. Actually, you have to lower the the headrest there first, and that drops down with that handle and then you've got this strap here and this is assisted so you're not like hurting yourself picking that up it will kind of you know lift itself up so now you've got the ability to step in the vehicle and make your way to the third row seat which by the way is one of the few vehicles that has a very high stance of the seat on the third row so your knees are not you know like completely up in the air you're actually sitting in a pretty normal height seat you've got some cup holders back there place to put stuff uh, you also have um, you know a cup holder there and you've got air conditioning vents climate control vents hooks all kinds of convenience features for the second and third row passengers you also have for everybody in the third row and the second row to watch you do have the back of uh, the headrest um, DVD type systems now you do have the ability to play uh, videos off of a USB or um, or your AV inputs there and you can also have headphones it also has wireless headphones I believe um, in the back I have to confirm that but at least you have the ability to plug in headphones there same thing on that side there um, and then that way uh, you can adjust your volume and stuff for that which is pretty cool so I'm not I'm not sure about the adjustments there I don't know if you can adjust the tilt or not but um but that would probably be handy if you could. They're taped up, so I don't want to mess with them too much. This is a new vehicle. So here in the back, this is the, the EL, as you can tell, has a large rear glass. It's got the, the muffler there. You have the towing package down here. And then you've got your plug there. For your wiring parking sensors across the back bumper got the platinum badge the EcoBoost badge also have the the wide angle lens right there and so to open it up I can either use my hand here to push the button on the inside of here to open up this tailgate um, I can also get out the key if I wanted to and double tap this button and it will lift right up. All right, so now that that's lifted up, you can see it has a pretty good amount of, since it's the EL, it has a lot, pretty good amount of space back here, even with all the seats up. And now you do have the ability to lower the seats, which I'll show you in a second, uh, to add to your cargo capacity if you don't have a, a full, all your seats full. But here in the back, um, 
you do have the ability to lower the tailgate which is that button you've got your subwoofer here and uh, under here is your tools and your funnel for your um, gas putting your gas in if you use a gas can but and there's the, the floor mats for the vehicle but this is a pretty cool right here this is a uh, well let me show you one-handed you just grab it lift it up hook it there and you got a shelf <laughs> I think that's pretty awesome and then there's a, a storage compartment there under the shelf so um, so talk about tailgating you can hang out behind the vehicle and uh, you know you can you know put stuff there and, and shelf you can organize your stuff taking stuff out of maybe a um, you know like organizing your luggage or whatever uh, it, it does only hold 30 pounds so it's not something you can sit on or, or whatever but um, it's not like a bench but it is you know pretty cool cool thing there and it's really easy to manipulate you just grab it unhook it it flips down and do that so really easy to just get it right in place and drop it back down it's uh, pretty impressive now as far as lowering those seats it does have the power power seat fold down feature uh, right here and one thing you do want to make sure you do is you lower the headrest then you can push this button here it lowers down And basically, you can have a combination of that with the second row folded down if you really need to carry something, you know, it becomes as big as a truck or something. So, um, so you got some massive amount of cargo space in this vehicle. And raising up the, the seat is just as easy. You just push this button and hold it, and it will raise it back up. Once it's in place, you still have to, um, you still need to lift this up for your headrest uh, for your passengers, or they can do it. But uh, that's the only thing that's manual. There's the headrest. All right. You'll notice this is kind of gets out of the way pretty good. So even if you're pretty tall, um, that you can be able to stand under the tailgate pretty easily. So let's push this and, and hold, close that down. You see how easy that is you don't ever have to actually touch the, the tailgate there all right let's look here uh, you notice I showed you that funnel there this is a capless design system so when you're putting gas in you don't have to worry about a cap you just put the nozzle in pump gas now the only reason why you'd want to use that funnel is if you're using a gas can and then so you put the funnel in there that way you can pour the gas in easier or it makes it possible basically so let's give you another perspective on this side. Since this is a big vehicle. You do have a key code system here for opening and unlocking the door. So if you wanted to use that, you could. Now this vehicle has a blind spot monitoring system there. You can see the this little symbol there on the in the side mirror it's let it'll illuminate if there's a vehicle in your uh, blind spot while you're driving so that's a really good feature also it has like a cross traffic alert system to where if you're backing out of a parking spot um, and a car is basically coming in uh, this way and you're trying to back up you can't see them hopefully they see you but it will alert you with the blind spot monitoring system um, that they're coming so it'll kind of beep at you to get you to be more careful as you're backing up and you maybe you see them in the camera or whatever at some point okay so here's the inside of the driver's door basically the same as the other side except for it's got more buttons um, you've got your window controls here you can lock out the rear view, uh, window controls if you wanted to door lock controls uh, side mirror controls you also have a power fold so basically um, you push that down and you can fold in your side mirrors you can do that for parking or squeezing through a small area like a small garage or something you can fold them in and fold them out with just a touch of a button it does have a power seat and you do have two presets there one and two and then that way uh, the seat will get into the position that you prefer it does have the automatic headlights so you've got off parking lights headlights and then automatic 
That's how that works. All right, so I'm gonna hop in using the step, of course, because this has a little bit of height to the seat, which gives you a good stance on the road. So let's see what, how quiet it is in here. It's pretty quiet. So let's go ahead and start it up. So now we got the 3.5 liter going. And like I said, it is a low on fuel. It's letting me know that here. And um, so that's one thing. If, if it's below a certain level, the remote start will not work. You turn the fan speed down. It is kind of cold out. So I'm going to use the cooled seats why not so when it has a mes message here like you know low fuel level or if the doors open or whatever it has this thing that pops up uh, you can always clear that using this button here so I'm just gonna do that right now and I'll go into that more detail on that later so air vents are easily manipulated you can shut them like that or you can open them or you can kind of turn them very easily um, aimable I'm going to aim them away from the camera for the time being. Okay, so looking at the steering wheel, it does have a dimpled, perforated, actually perforated um, portion up here, which is very comfortable and grippy. It's a little bit thinner, slightly thinner than um, than I expected in a vehicle this size. Some of them, you know, some steering wheels a little bit has a little bit of thickness, but it's soft, so it's very comfortable. Kind of makes up for that. So the steering wheel has a bunch of buttons on it and so basically here on the right you've got your volume control for your radio so you can turn the volume up now right right now the radio is off but you turn the volume up and down you can um, change to the stations this these buttons also double for your bluetooth phone so like say you can answer your phone and hang up uh, using those buttons too like you know you once you pair your bluetooth phone and once you're in your driving somebody calls you it starts ringing the radio will dim out and it'll start ringing the phone, you just push this button, answers the phone, you're done talking, maybe they're not, I don't know, but you can hang up right there. So you just push that. It also has a voice recognition system right here, you just push that, and there's lots of different um, voice commands that you can uh, go through. I'm gonna push that to just kinda give you an idea of what it, what it says. Please say a command. Help. Main menu, say a device name, like phone, navigation, climate, USB, CD, or radio. To get help with a specific device, say the device name and help, like phone help. You can interrupt me at any time by pushing the voice button. Phone is always active, so you can say things like, call John Smith, to hear an introduction to your system. Say voice instructions, for sync support, call 1-877-945-3648 or see the tips available at www.syncmyright.com Main menu, say a command Cancel Canceling So that just kind of gives you an idea of the different things you can say with the voice command um, I highly recommend using it uh, I would hi highly recommend getting a vehicle with with the voice recognition and using it because it is a very good safety feature there's tons of things advanced things that you can do in your car with your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road and i think it's a really good way of you know staying active uh, as far as like say call making calls and receiving calls and listening to the radio and you know you know using your navigation while safely driving so i think that's a awesome feature that they've added to vehicles now now um i'll get into these buttons in a second this side has the same type type of buttons, but uh, on the bottom here is your cruise control, and it's basically you know you set it, you can adjust your speed, you can cancel it, that kind of stuff. Resume, same stuff that's been for ages. So these two pads, it's okay with the arrows, okay with the arrows on that side. They correspond with these two screens here um, to the left and right of the uh, speedometer. The speedometer is there in the center, which we all hopefully get what that is. But these screens here, the one on the right corresponds to the one on the, the pad here on the right. Now that one um, is kind of is works in tandem with the large screen. So basically, uh, 
you know, you can go into, right now it's telling me the audio is off, but I'm going to turn to the left so you can see it's entertainment, navigation, and phone. So those are the, the main, you know, subjects that you can go into, and then each one has their own options. Uh, so I can go into uh, navigation, and it gives me some information there. Then it's just showing me a compass with a speed limit um, of 45. But once you're on a trip or something, you can get a little bit more information, uh, you know, on that screen, uh, like turn by turn direction and stuff like that. So that way you don't actually have to look over here. You'll have some information there. All right. So uh, going there. Now, once you pair your cell phone, you'll have more information than this. Um, so basically who you're talking to, who's calling, stuff like that will pop up there. On the left side, this screen, it has a, um, okay, so let me get out of this right now to show you uh, the different options. This is like your main screen here. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see a little bit of a glare. Okay, so right there, we're in, um, okay, so it's off-road. Okay, so let's go into display mode. I'm gonna hit go into that by pushing the right arrow. And it's showing me, um, right now, showing me the RPMs. Still has the fuel gauge there. I'm going to scroll down. It gives me a fuel gauge with a temperature gauge. Still has the RPMs. Scrolling down again. Um, gives me a gauge detail, oil pressure, oil temperature, transmission oil temperature, stuff like that. All kinds of different distance to empty, um, digital speedometer, all that cool stuff. Now, um, so that's that screen. And of course, you can scroll back to the beginning. I'm gonna go back out of that, and then you can go into the trip. Uh, the trips are a little bit interesting. They give you a distance in miles, but also they give you the average miles per gallon and the actual time. So I'm going to the left of that. Uh, towing, uh, this is your, your trailer status, your trailer options, trailer setup. Uh, this does have a trailer br uh, brake game control, so you can um, you know go into those settings. Off-road, uh, this is pretty cool. It gives you the articulation of the vehicle. So, let's say if you're leaning to the left or right, or leaning to the forward and back, and show me in the center there. Show me it's just in two-wheel drive. But uh, once you engage four-wheel drive, you'll see where the the center drive shaft for the front will light up. So that's some pretty cool stuff. And then of settings, you can go in there and I'll do all kinds of stuff. Um, you can turn on and off your parking aids and um, and your trash control and all kinds of stuff in there. So that's a, a huge amount of information. And it's not to where you have to go into all those settings, but they're there in case you need them, um, in case you want to look at them. So, you know, that's that's basically the whole idea behind that pad button there, that button pad there. All right, and I like the way they have the stitching on the dash. You've got some pockets there, just basically stuff you can just kind of throw there um, to quickly access. Uh, more than likely temporarily. I guess your cell phone could go up there, that kind of stuff. All right, so to the right of the steering wheel. Now we do have the your turn signal and your windshield wipers on here. But to the right of the steering wheel here, um, it is a push button start. So pushing the, um, you know, the brake and, and turn it on there. Here is your lift gate in the back. You can open it up using this button. This is a downhill descent button. This is for off-road four-wheel drive use only so basically it's going to use um, the um, kind of like the I think it uses the anti-lock brake system to slowly uh, descend you down a slippery slope um, at a certain speed without even touching the brake it's pretty neat and then your traction control you can turn that off there and it may be on the screen over there I'm not sure um, but there's definitely the ability to turn it off there your trailer brake gain control is here and you can adjust it um, you know, pushing the button, it's just letting me know that the trailer is disconnected. But uh, so basically, that's how you adjust it. Four wheel drive is as easy as turning a knob. Um, you do have two wheel drive high, four wheel drive automatic, so it'll cycle into four wheel drive when it needs it. Four wheel drive high, which is, um, you know, basically you're in four wheel drive, it's just you're able to drive faster. And then you got four wheel drive low, which is super slow speeds only, four wheel drive. All right, so here's your screen, and um, I'm going to hit the home screen here, which we are in. And what's cool about the 8-inch um, the uh, screen that Ford has, the, the simplicity of the corners. You got the phone 
on the top left and right now there's no phone um, pair connected right now so but you can once you pair a phone you can play music off of it send and receive calls all that stuff all right you even have the pin pad you've got your phone book and all that stuff all right let's go back home the top right navigation now see there's a pattern top left top right climate everything's separated in four corners and then you got your navigation on that side and this is where you can view your map you can zoom in and out so you can catch your bearings um, you can also put in a destination to where um, you know like your your house could be your uh, saved your favorites heck put in a specific street address all kinds of cool stuff that's your navigation let me hit home again and we can go to climate and this gives you um, you know details about your temperature where you want the air to blow all that stuff the fan speed um, hot or cold the whole nine yards there you do have the ability to adjust them down here but we'll get into that later and the entertainment um, turn the volume down this is where you can you know change from AM FM satellite radio CD uh, you can play music through a uh, USBs auxiliary input um, that all all that cool stuff hit home there but um, so basically the four corners is what you want to pay attention to um, you know everything's separate so you don't accidentally go into the wrong one there's your CD player now before I go for any further on the screen let me go ahead and put it in reverse because I want to show you the um, the backup camera now the backup camera will pop up you also have your parking aid there um, will you know display there letting you know that the the parking sensors are on so now like let's say um, you're backing up and you want to hook up to a trailer you can push this button right here and it will give you a closer view of right where the trailer hitch is so that way you can really focus in and um, hook that up first try it makes it real easy all right so somebody drove past us back there okay so we're in reverse <laughs> we're in reverse and um, so the, it has the like I was mentioning before the blind spot detector but also the traffic alert detector so basically somebody drove by the vehicle and it, it gave me an alert to let me know that there was some something moving back there so that way if you're backing up a parking out of a parking space and you can't see um, you know it is going to get your attention it is a um, you know wide angle view you can see from the bumper to the sky really cool um, safety feature there so let me get out of reverse all right so your CD player is there you do have your four-way flashers your volume tune through the stations uh, your presets for your radio are right here change to the stations stations there this media button that's for playing music through um, you know to change to like say your auxiliary or USB that kind of stuff do you have the heated and cooled seat controls? Um, right now I've got the, the cooled seat on, but you can also turn the heated seat on. Uh, same thing on the passenger side here. And here's the um, extra buttons for the climate control. You do have a dual zone. And so basically you can adjust uh, the passenger side separately from the driver's side if you want. And then you got all your um, your controls there, air conditioning, where you want the air to blow, fan speed, just like you, you see in the screen. Uh, but a quick access way to do it right down here you got a really cool place to put a cell phone or just some stuff change or whatever and then back to the shifter now the shifter has um, a tow and haul button here on the side for hauling a trailer you also have the uh, these buttons here for cycling through the gears if you need to downshift or something uh, or you know controlling the shift points while you're driving so let me go ahead and put it down into drives there's normal drive okay um, if you put it down in M, you can really um, control the shift points here. And this will pop up, the screen will pop up right here, and you see the RPMs, and then it says a 1. So basically, I'm going to push the plus button on the shifter, and you see it cycling through the gears. Now, it's only going to let me go so far out of range. Um, it's only going to let me, you know, cycle so much out of... Out of out of a certain gear ratio um, so I can control the, the the shift points but not only to a certain point it's not going to allow me to mess up the engine and that's in the manual mode and of course you do have the ability to just go ahead and shift right into a, a low two and a low one and that would um, you know really really slow you down 
So um, you want to you know, only do that when you're going very slow or you want to you want to stay very slow. Pretty nice cup holders right here. Pretty good size. Um, you can put the, you know large or a small cup. It does have the ability to uh, self adapt depending on the size of cup you have or with these rubber uh, bolsters there. All right, so here's this. There's the cup holders for the some more there for the back passengers, but here's the armrest, and this will lift up. And uh, inside here, you have a place to put some like tissues or something there, pens. Um, but you also have a place to put some change. You have this little bag here. And this comes out of the way if you need to do that. But um, but you also have your connectivity options. 12 volt power supply there um, SD card right now your navigation uh, SD card is plugged in now line in for, for music also USB for music and that's part of the Microsoft sync system there's a little cubby hole there quick access stuff there are now the rearview mirror um, it's just a basic rearview mirror other than it does have an auto dim rear view mirror system so like say if somebody's behind you with their bright lights on it will auto dim in order to uh, avoid blinding you and um, you getting mad and having road rage or whatever so um, you've got some tap lights up here give you some quick reading lights you have a place to put some sunglasses here kind of small you know if you got some Hollywood sunglasses they might not fit in there all right you also have a sunroof and here's the shade which you can move back and so basically, you can um, you can tilt this up or you can slide it back. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just slide it back so you can see how quiet it is and how big it is. And close that up. And of course, you can um, you know close the shade there. Now this this button right here uh, is the vent. And so basically, those big glass. Um, let's see if I can show you. Let's see here, best way to show you this. All right, so I'm looking in the side mirror there, and I'm gonna, I'm going to open up. You see those big pieces of glass back there? Uh, that's for the third, where the third row passengers are. You can open and close those in order to get some airflow through the vehicle. So um, that's what that that vent button does, right there. So it's right in there with the um, with the the power sunroof. Alrighty, let's take a look. This does have the uh, home link um, garage door openers there. There's your micro uh, microphone for your Bluetooth system, and this is pretty cool because it has a um, it has two visors up here. So you can unlink this one and move that there, and it will slide out right where you need it, like so. And then you also have this little one, so you can really get some good, uh, um, you know, shade. So you might not even need sunglasses. And you got the same thing on that side. Pretty cool. Also, you have a mirror with lights, so you can look at yourself even at nighttime. Let's take a look back here. See your visibility. All the headrests in the way. Take a look here, see what the dash looks like in its entirety. Alright, so let's take out take a look at that EcoBoost 3.5 liter engine. liter v6 is covered up with plastic of course but it is an eco boost with the with a turbo system uh, to give you some extra power and really awesome 22 miles per gallon on the highway fuel economy which uh, seems very high for a vehicle this size and seating capacity and cargo capacity I mean you even have the uh, 
you know, luggage racks on the top and everything too. So, I mean, you can really have an awesome vacation vehicle right here. So anyways, there you have it. 2015 Ford Expedition Platinum EL in black. Let me know what you think. If you have any experience with this vehicle, maybe you, um, you own one or you're about to drive, uh, buy one or, you know, just let me know what you think of this vehicle in the comments. If you have any questions, uh, if there's anything that I got wrong or maybe I skipped over, didn't get right, please, um, put your clarifications in the, in the, uh, in the comment section. I'd really appreciate your, uh, your assistance there. And thank you for watching. Thank you to Conway Ford for allowing me to show you this awesome vehicle. Uh, Conway Ford is located in Conway, South Carolina, which is very close to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So if you're on vacation and you want to drive back in a more comfortable vehicle, stop by and pick up one of these because uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. So anyways, I appreciate you watching and appreciate you supporting my channel. If you don't mind, if you can subscribe, like, uh, share with your friends, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. See you next time.